What's up YouTube? Um, this is LDS Reliance. Today I am uh, laying some PVC conduit for some wiring here at my house. Um, I'm kind of halfway through with it so I apologize for not uh, um, doing kind of a start to finish kind of a thing but I'm kind of learning as I go. Um, what this is, this is my uh, shed with some solar panels on top. Uh, soon to be more panels, but um, what I wanted to do was uh, be able to bring some uh, power into my house from the shed. Um, and please keep in mind, I'm going to have a huge disclaimer on here that I am not an electrician. I'm probably not following every electrical code there is, but uh, it is very safe. 12 volt is very safe. Um, and I'm not going to con be converting it to AC when I get inside. Um, and I'm taking every precaution. All the wire is, is way larger than it needs to be. Um, I've consulted with my best friend who's a, um, has a master's degree in electrical engineering and we've kind of made sure that everything's safe and, and good. So anyway, back to the task at hand. Um, this is um, basically the same thing as a PVC uh, plumbing pipe, which is white, but this stuff is gray, which uh, I believe it just has a pigment kind of a treatment that uh, resists sunlight. So this is going to be fine to, to receive sunlight and won't break down over time. Um, basically the electrical is going to come from inside here and this is a mess right now but um, there's going to be a load center right here. It's going to go down through the, the hole there outside and underground. Now I wanted to make it underground as opposed to aerial, um, just personal preference. Didn't want anything overhead. It looks better. It's kind of neat. Um, so basically I dug a trench over to my house. Now um, it's recommended that this this PVC be, be buried at least 18 inches below ground according to code. Uh, however, I know where this is going to be, so I, I know I'm not going to be um, breaking this. And I'm going to be living in this house for at least seven or eight years. So <clears throat> if you know where, where you're going with it and there's no danger of, of it uh, being cut, then uh, six inches, which is what I've got here, is sufficient. And six inches is what they bury the, uh, the metal conduit at, um, which is you know fairly safe. So this should be fine. Uh, anyway, it's going to go through here. Um, now, you've got to make sure that this stuff is secure. So we've got these little um, these little ties that uh, that go in to hold the, hold it against the the structure. Um, we got a 90 degree elbow, um, and between each of the joints, you have to use a similar compound to what you use in plumbing. Uh, this stuff is specifically for this um, this type of PVC conduit. Um, but it's the same principle. You, you know, use the brush and uh, put it on the inside, um, cinch them together, and then this is watertight. Now, any seasoned electrician is going to tell you that it's not truly watertight. You know, you'll dig up old conduit and there will be moisture inside. But if you use um, wire that's like THHN wire or THWN or whatever that's rated to be buried by itself, then it doesn't matter if it gets wet anyway. Which is what I'm going to be using. So anyway, we come down, we go six inches underground, and I'm going to fill this in shortly. Uh, we go through all of this pipe and come out this side. <clears throat> Again, we're going to have several of these straps to hold it down. It's going to come up here, and at four feet we're going to have a load center here. Um, we're also going to be putting a grounding rod into the ground over here which I have waiting for me right here. This is an eight foot grounding rod. <clears throat> so again, everything's gonna be safe, no risk of fire or any problems. However, if you're doing this and you, you might be selling your home, uh, you need to do everything to code so that, um, you know, it'll pass inspection and everything like that someday. It's been about a week since the first video and um, as you can see, we've got um, our run that starts here in the shed where the uh, solar panels are and the battery bank and we go underground six inches all the way across 
and come up the wall a little bit into this uh, load center. And then uh, we're going up into that hole in the soffit of my house. Um, all of these connections are watertight. Um, this is a, an outdoor rated load center. Uh, NEMA 3R, I believe, is the rating. Um, and all the connections are, are watertight. So it's safe. Um, here it's connected. This is the, the one gauge wire that I, that I ran. It's the, the biggest gauge wire that this uh, load center would handle. Um, and I did that so that I would get the, the minimal amount of voltage drop. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you the last task that I have here. I've got to connect this um, piece of conduit uh, up and through the hole here. And then we're going to screw it into this base down here. If I can get it so that with one hand. for the bad camera Good job this is an easy one-handed okay so now I've got this up here I'm going to be uh, putting some some little clamps on it to hold it um, make it go straight and then I'm going to feed some cable through it. So I'll just do that here in a second. Okay, I'm gonna run some wire up through here. This is gonna be another trick to try to do one-handed, but uh, hopefully this, you can see something here. Um, <clears throat> try to get some, some slack, and then we gotta go up. And I get to do the fun job of going up into the attic and uh, laying down in some insulation. Try to fish this out. Okay, so here we have the four lines run. Uh, there's going to be, I don't know if you can see that here, but there's going to be two, two runs that are going to go deep into my attic. This is eight, eight gauge wire. Uh, it's really not relevant to the video, but Basically, I'm going to be pulling these up from inside the attic and, um, and then uh, buttoning this up and I'm going to seal that opening so no critters can get in and then it's done. So once this is done, it'll be completely rainproof. It'll be able to power my house with all well, about 40 amps worth of power from my solar panel system. And hopefully you guys have learned as much as I have. Thanks for watching.